It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome to the, uh, well in this case, the Pan-Slavic Workers' Congress, which consists of Yugoslavia, Hungary, Bulgaria, and the Italian Union. But we would like to expand it and make it even bigger. And how do we do that? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to try and persuade the UK to become more communist. That's one thing we're going to do. And uh, I guess we could try and invade Spain, maybe. Could try and make a civil war in Spain. Spanish Civil War 2.0. How are we going to take this? I'm not sure, because I don't want to invade America. I don't want to invade the Europe, Russia. I, we've seen that a million times. I don't want to do that again. I guess I could help out by selling volunteers and whatnot. That's a possibility, too. I don't know. It's, it's difficult, really. Anywho, so let's grab those guys, go here, this is my meaty division, have we got any other field marshals? Oh, he's pretty good. This guy, offensive doctrine, only 14%. This guy doesn't even have offensive doctrine at all, but he's got the planning, he's a thorough planner. Bit behind on support equipment. Ooh, okay. Interesting. Um, we don't need nowhere as much artillery now, so I think I'm happy with that. Let's have a look at our tank divisions. What's the models? So 12 of the latest model, 67 of the older ones. We should be researching the new tank as well at this point. We'll do that next after the guns. Yeah, someone in my Twitch chat just said, You're bordering New Zealand. That I am. That I am. So, if we wanted to, we could move them towards communism by slowly but truly pushing them in that direction. We're going to go for the next tank because it's only a year ahead, so why not? Go for the new guns, too. We seem to have the vision to decommission the normal weapon. I think that's a bug because if we de decommission this by mistake, we've lost the new gun and we can't get it back. Hmm, I think that might be a bug. Alright, you guys are here. That's good. Okay, I guess we can put you guys here. I should put them here. Let me div how many? We've still got a really big navy. What? 190? How is... 190 ships? What? I don't know what's going on there. Go for mechanized too, why not? Oh, we were going to research the um, armor, weren't we, as well? We'll do that next. Ah, this is not that important. Um, Let's do that now. Eight days, there we go. Then we're going to switch back to the anti-tank anyway, because we need to wait for the mechanized um, time boost too. No, we're not doing that. Um, we're going to get one truck. <laughs> Look at all these trucks we've got. These are the ones we've all got from Occupation. These are really high reliability. Is that the reason why they don't get knocked out? Doesn't look like it. So, yeah, so just to cover the goals again, so as soon as we've created our own little communist common turn in the Balkans area, we might as well just try and spread communism. So, 
in that circumstance, what I'm just going to do is try and spread lots of communism, make civil wars, do volunteers and such. I'll just keep going until I get bored. I don't want to be invading everyone because I've done that in a, a thousand times in a thousand series. And in all fairness, guys, you've seen them all about th before about a thousand times. So I don't want to do something I've already been done. Plus, it's more fun if I do something different as well. Need to keep an eye on Italy, though, because they could try and break away. Yeah, the slowly but get truly getting more and more autonomy. Do I want to add that on for the infantry? Probably not, no. It's essential for the tanks though, because I don't want to burn through them too quickly. Yeah, so my initial goals are going to be try to flip the British to communism, Turkey, and maybe Spain, and we'll see how far we get. Because if we flip Britain, isn't that going to have like a... Doesn't that like have a tidal wave effect? Doesn't that like... Oh, Spain's showing the axis. Oh! Okay. Interesting. So, what does that mean for us? Hmm. We're actually moving them towards communism a lot quicker than I thought we would. Logistics and field hospitals. No, we, we can invade Spain still. Spain, invading Spain is actually still on the card. 200 divisions? Wow. There goes Gibraltar. So, are they going to try and push into them here? The problem now is that boosting them is not worthwhile. Because what's going to happen is the Allies are going to attack Spain, take out Spain, flip them to democratic, and then we're going to have to start the whole process of flipping them to communism again, aren't we? It's not really that worthwhile. It's interesting how they've not managed to push out the communist pocket in Yunnan in the Glinix Klitsch. I'm never going to say that right, guys. Please give up. Give up. Everyone in the comments is getting really high rate. I mean, not saying those warlord names right. Get over it. Get over it, please. I will never say them right. Um... All right, go here. There you go. Oh, I, I feel like I should do the second one as well. Because the second one doesn't take as long. If we get two lots of refineries, that would be pretty good. Um... Boom, 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 boom. Oh no, that's in my puppet. Here's a good one. Istria. <laughs> As I say that, my chat fills with lots of people giving me pronunciations. Get over it, boys. <laughs> so, we'll look at our tank composition. A few level 2 artilleries by Italy, and then a lot of improved artillery. We're looking at tanks, weren't we? Heavy tank. 651 olds. Why are they changing? I've not really took advantage of the, the new mechanic, have I? The whole conversion thing. We could, um... I could do that and convert, couldn't I? Mm. 
and then convert. They won't let me. Oh, it's a variant, so you can't upgrade it. Ah, okay. It's a new mechanic in Death and Dishonor. I'm not really taking advantage of it, so I feel like I, I want to. I guess when we've done this, we could research a tank destroyer, maybe. I guess anti-air is going to be useful, because that's that can be used throughout the game, can't it? It's not something that really kind of dies off. Yeah, I think I might do that, you know. Yeah. What we'll do is when modern tanks come around, we'll produce, we'll convert heavy tanks to either anti-air. Oh no, we could convert them to self-propelled artillery. That's actually a good idea. Yeah, that actually is a really good idea. Tank licenses, nope. Field hospitals and logistics. Eh, that's kind of cool, I suppose. That's all done. Fighters, tacticals, extra factories. That one's okay, I suppose. Small arms is decent. Support artillery, anti-tanks, decent. Mountaineers, engineers, reconnaissance. Those are, those are pretty good. So have a look at the two options. So we have naval doctrine or coastal forts. So one of them's defense and one of them's attack, isn't it? Naval bombers, modern destroyers, replace the cruisers, heavy cruisers. All right, we'll go for the small arms. No, we're gonna go for hospitals. Using all up-to-date planes as well. We get a new air wing. I think we should probably be able to get one more bunch of old planes. You'd think they'd use their old planes for training, wouldn't they? Someone's going to tell me in the comments that that's what they did, didn't they? Old models were like training models, weren't they? For training new pilots. So surprising, I didn't get a single ace. I had an air wing fighting in the Balkans, virtually a full going on two years. Oh, declared war on the German Reich. Hmm. Hmm, that German Reich. Hmm. Yeah, the fight in the Balkans for like 200 planes for like almost over a year. Not a single ace. Just my luck, eh? Just my luck. Don't need oil anymore. We are going to make some refineries in Istria when we're done. Oh, apparently Croatia's still broke. Is it? No, it's maxed. Nine. Ten, Slovenia is a good one. Oh, first battle across the uh, French Spanish border. Not a lot of conflict going on there. The black out uh, no not black. We're gonna go for white just for a change. White army. Strangely, no one has even come close to getting Panzer Lady out. I think it's based on the hardness of the divisions, and I don't think his division is hard enough. Do you think you're hard enough, boys? Tw yeah, twenty-one percent hardness. That's pathetic. What's the organization? It's 
Oh, wrong one. 40. You can usually get away with like 30, can't you? So could we do this? 29, I'll do that. I'm really behind on tanks now. Oops. Another one, another one. Forget it. Let's get lots of oil going. One, two, three. Yep. One, two, three. These are repairs inside of my ally. I don't think if I repair these, they're going to see me any differently, are they? They're not going to lose autonomy. Nah, it makes a difference, so it's not bother. Not worth it. And I'm surprised the repair option's even still there. But I guess it makes sense because they're a puppet of mine, so... Yep. Someone just said get mechanized. Yes, I do need to do mechanized, you're right. I'm not sure my comments is disagreeing with me. Let's find out. So we're going to repair a few of these, which are in Italy. Let's actually see if it makes any difference. There's going to be an egg on his face if the Twitch chatter is distracting me and he is completely wrong. Here we're going to find out, boys. There's about to hit a ban in my Twitch chat. Oh, it's not making any difference. Oh, no. Someone's going to get banned. Oh, no. Someone's giving me lies. <laughs> Filthy, dirty lies. Show me those lies, those sweet, pretty lies. Oh, look at these divisions now. They're so hard. Hardness now is 33%, which is a lot better. Let's have a look. So, 14 divisions for Bulgaria, 21 for Hungary, 10 for Italy, interestingly. Can upgrade something else. Do I want to upgrade anything? Ship research, no... It could work on a navy, but I don't think I will. So, I think I'm going to go for accident reduction. No, air superiority. Come on, guys. We're going to go full on air. No half measures. We'll go full on air. Kid, again, the conflict between the common turn and the fra. The fra? The fra? The allies aren't going too well. Finally, that pocket's almost closed. Not a difference between the Japanese, though, is there? I bet the Americans are going to start hitting the islands quite hard now. How many tanks are we behind now? 617. Eep. Few hundred days. There we go. Pumping out those tanks now. A full 15 factories. The Tiger Tank of Yugoslavia. Oh, the Allies are making a lot of gains here. Pushing towards, are they going to capture Berlin? It's looking like they are. Actually, they're completely demolishing the, uh, the Soviets here, aren't they? Not looking too good. About to take Berlin. Alright, is that everything? Yep, we've got lots of refineries now. The fall of Berlin. German has capitulated a second time. Berlin has been taken a second time. Everything happened a second time. Ooh, 
Ooh, here we go. 22% communist. And is there any point flipping Japan? Probably not. Who else were we boosting? Forgot who we're boosting now. Uh, you, oh, Turkey, right. They've got liberty ethos, though. Uh, democratic revolutionaries. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the event to turn to a democracy, isn't it? But we are boosting towards communism quite quickly. Oh, what's this? Mechanized. There we go. The plan, this is my division that I'm going to think of, because what usually happens is what when you switch out from heavy or medium to moderns, you end up with a lot of mediums and heavies that you're not going to use, and that's exactly what's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the new death and dishonor mechanic and convert all the heavy tanks into self-propelled heavy tank divisions. And then I have modern tanks as my breakthrough force. That is the plan, boys. There you go. Research. Then we'll go for the modern. With a 50% boost. Engineers, reconnaissance. Yeah, we'll do that. I'm losing a lot of my XP here, and I? I just remembered that. But if you think about it, using heavy tanks isn't a good idea either, because they get less speed, don't they? I guess technically I could up the speed. But that the problem then is it's not the variant, because I'd be to convert it to a different variant that wouldn't have the speed, wouldn't we? Mm, I'm not sure how I feel about that. Hungary demands Southern Slovakia. Slovakia returns southern Slovakia. Are they just expanded? <laughs> My publisher just got bigger. Hmm. Hmm. Alright. I know you're probably thinking, Dave, this is not really a good time to do this, but, eh, whatever. <clears throat> My end goal is to make the tank divisions fast, and I need mechanized, I need faster heavy tanks, and I'll need to convert these to self-propelled artillery, so therefore I'll have more speed. That's the plan. It is easy to add infantry on, but I'd much prefer what I'm doing right now. I'm actually happy with what I'm doing right now. Do, 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 do. Need <laughs> 2,000 mechanized. So in that case, I think I've gone overboard here, haven't I? Do the classic strategy of just slowly convert. Infantry, 110 days, sure. Slowly work down our production of infantry because we've got too much infantry now. It's, it's sucking up a lot of our manpower. Good, and we can go for vet fight a veteran initiative, get extra agility. Makes a big difference to my wings. Mm. 
We can exercise these again, but it's getting kind of pointless because at this point we are going to convert these and modify them some more. So it is becoming kind of pointless, but we'll do it anyway. Do 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 300 400 days 300 days so they're about the same which I'm happy with and we made this different model mark ones yep they've got best engine anyway so it doesn't matter oh but I could upgrade them again fight with that oh, that's too much there you go mark twos there you go Man, these are really awesome jets, aren't they then? They're what, jets? Fighters. Because you think about it, these are a 1944 fighter. They've got the upgrades too, and are about to get fighter initiative too, so they're going to be a lot, lot stronger. Going to make them good. You know what? I've changed my mind. We're actually going to go for self-propelled artillery now. And we'll use the new death and dishonor mechanics and we'll convert a few. You think about it, self-propelled artillery with a lot of armor on them is not really that worthwhile if you think about it, because aren't self-propelled artilleries on the back? You know, like they're not on they're not on well, I imagine they're on the front line, but I guess the only thing I can think of is that they would have to have really strong armor on the top to prevent other heart artillery hitting other artillery. Or like for instance a dive bomber hitting the top of the tank. But if you think about it, if a a self-propelled artillery came in an engagement with an actual normal regular tank the tank would easily outmaneuver and outgun them wouldn't they so i feel like all that extra armor kind of feels kind of useless and unless it was those two scenarios just reeled off just then <coughs> got loads of artillery i realize we should upgrade our artillery as well Yep, could do that one and that one too. We could finish it up. Oh, can we not get two there? Yeah, we can. So, where do we build more? I guess we build here, here. And that, funnily enough, there's nowhere else to build, is there? What? What's going on here? I'm not building here, am I? Oh, it's letting me know where they're building. Oh, okay. I don't know why I need to know that, but okay. Let me check on my trade, because I don't think... No, 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 it's okay. We're still, we're still doing good. And uh, how much are we? 17 from trade. Damn. So maybe there's a strategy in this game. If you play as a minor power, the first thing you do is go for refineries, make refineries, and then snowball off those refineries based on exports. Maybe there's a strategy there. Eleven days. I feel stupid not doing it. Okay, so now we can make the heavy self-propelled. We take... So we're going to take two off. And then... Oh, we can't. You currently have no equipment in stock that's for the self-propelled artillery. I thought the whole idea behind this mechanic was that you could upgrade old models. I thought that was the whole idea. Hmm. So all the models we've got are already been assigned, so they can't upgrade them. Hmm.
these have got more combat worth as well, haven't they? Oops. Combat width plus three, which plus two. So the ideal plan. Well, ah, we'll just do it now. We'll just do it now. We'll get it out of the way. Self-propelled, self-propelled. There you go. We don't even need that many either. So the only way I could upgrade is if I convert these to moderns, wouldn't I? And then when I convert them to moderns, they can change the ones that are already in the stockpile, can't they? So I have to wait for my modern tank to finish first. Okay, that makes sense. I don't think we're going to convert that yet. No, we're not going to convert that yet. So what will happen is, my modern tanks are going to finish. When they finish, we're going to switch all of these from heavies to moderns. Then we'll end up with a big stockpile of heavy tanks. Then we'll hit this button to convert the stockpile from heavy tanks to self-propelled artillery pieces. That is the plan. Yeah. I'm learning this as well, guys, if you're wondering why. Why is Dave so confused? It's because I, I'm not really familiar with the conversion mechanics as well. They are new to me. I don't want to make ships because they're going to eat my manpower, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to wait for the modern tank to finish. It shouldn't be too long. So, we've got a little bit of tour around the world. Seems that the uh, the Estonians have been capitulated a second time. Wow, man. The, they've lost Leningrad. The UK is pushing towards Moscow. We've got a Denmark pocket around the Kuban Crimea region. Germany is slowly getting eaten up. Berlin was taken and there's a... Massive push from Berlin as well. France has strangely taken half of India. Hmm. So there's an Indian civil war. India's lost their focus tree. And uh, India has lost half of its land to France. Hmm. Okay. Reorganized nationalist China has a total of 143 divisions. Service by requirement. What? With 73 million manpower. I don't know why they're on service by requirement, but... Hmm, I don't know. 312 divisions for Japan. That's pretty much it. United States has joined the war. Attacking the Germans. They've got 257 divisions. Can be really cheeky and look what kind of tanks they've got. The best tank they've got is the medium M3 Lee, which is the first medium. Hmm. Parachute division's not interested in that. Support artillery, why not? Could add on field hospitals, couldn't we as well? Why not? And we could add. Um, we could also add on at a later date. We can add on signal companies. Signal companies go really well for spearhead divisions as well. One thousand three hundred, five hundred, one hundred and sixty. Division speed feels pretty good. We'll do that one. How's that conversions going? 33 communists for UK. Turkey is... Hungary claims that the lordship of Slovakia... Slovakia rejects demand. I think we've already had that event. And that event just fired again. Mm, okay. Turkey is currently... 
35% communist. I know what's gonna happen here. They're gonna flip to communist and they're instantly gonna join the common zone. I can feel it. Alright, this is what we've been waiting for. So, you guys are gonna become moderns. Then we're gonna change the template to moderns. And then, we can hit the magic button. Boom. And now we're converting one a day. Let's have a look at the conversions. Yeah, so there's 700 of the stockpile, so we can convert them relatively quickly. So this is a... I guess this is a decent f feature, isn't it? So it gives you a reason now to convert when you've, um, you've kind of run to the stage where you've got moderns, where moderns are really OP in my opinion. Alright guys, that's pretty much the end of the episode. If you have enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, drop us a comment below. Yet again, this campaign is going to be a wee bit different. It's going to be more of a pass passive route where I really don't engage in much combat as such. I imagine at some point I'm probably going to get sucked into the war, but we'll see how things go. Apart from that, have a good day. See you soon. Bye-bye.